They're currently at $53.29. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $104.57 in the next 12 months. And if they do, that will be a 96.22% gain on that stock in the next 12 months. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $5 in the next 12 months. If that's actual, that will be a 118.34% return on your money. Hey guys, this is a special edition of this week's winning stocks. It's going to be a little different this week because um, I actually, you know, if you've looked on my channel, and for those who don't know, you can check my channel and see some of my analysis videos. I actually do some pretty deep fundamental analysis on the stocks that I pick for this week's winning stocks. But now, I actually have a developer working on an app, which will be available next month. Not for me, but for you guys, so that you can do the same level of analysis at your home. The app will do it for you. It will pick fundamentally sound stocks, but not just any fundamentally sound stocks. Fundamentally sound stocks that are already at their annual low price. It will search the market and find fundamentally sound stocks at their annual low price every day to present to you. So in any event, that app is not completed yet, but the starting stages are completed where it will show me certain stocks where I have to do the rest of the analysis myself. So I actually have a lot more stocks to show you guys. So many that what I did is I removed everything from my watch list that wasn't making at least $20 extra a share. Or if it wasn't a big stock because now it's finding great penny stocks as well. Then it was returning at least more than 50%. So in any event, let's get started with this week's winning stocks. Um, I always start with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ. Because those let us know how the market is moving overall. And then we'll jump into the watch list. So starting with the S&P 500, we see that it moved up considerably this year. Then we had three down weeks. Now we're on the third up week. It moved up again this week. We see the same thing with the Dow. It moved up considerably. Moved down three weeks. Here it sort of moved sideways too, but now it moved up this last week that just passed. And when it comes to the um, NASDAQ, same thing, moved up, but then it sort of moved sideways and moved down for a while. It continued its climb up. You see it going sideways down a little, then it really took a drop, but it's been up for the third straight week. Not a big move this week, but a positive move. So the first stock that we have on our watch list is Biogen. Now, Biogen is a three star. The stocks on my watch list, I break them down into tiers. Either it's a three star, the most fundamentally sound, two star beneath that, and one star, 
the least most fundamentally sound on the watch list, but still sound enough to be on the watch list. Well, Biogen is actually a three-star, the most fundamentally sound. They have an earnings report dropping, but it isn't until July 23rd, so it's not a big concern. Now, I like to say an earnings report is sort of like going to a casino. You don't know how it's going to turn out. The earnings report can come out good and the stock price can jump up, or it could come out bad and the stock price can drop. But um, their earnings report is a couple of months away, so it's not a concern. Actually, around three months away. Now, this stock is currently at $221.50. Yahoo analysts estimate that it can move up to $283.79. So, if this stock were to move up from its current price to where it's estimated to move up, that would be a 28.12% increase. And we see it's been moving up for like the past three weeks. A slight move this past week, but it's been moving up for like three weeks. Next we have MGP Ingredients. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on um, as August 1st or later that week. They're currently at $83.07 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $113.71 a share in the next 12 months. Now, if they actually move up to that point, that will be an increase of 36.88%. And you'll see that we've had a few sideways weeks, sideways weeks here. Here, it's almost a little above the sideways action, but still hasn't broken out yet. And we see a sort of lengthy tail there, which gives us an indication. Maybe it can move higher, but we have to wait and see. We have Humana. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. Now, they're currently at $335.59 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $362.64 a share in the next 12 months. If they did, that would be an 8.06% return on your money. Liberty Broadband. They are actually... They're not on our watch list. No stars. Um, they were mentioned in here, but they're actually not on our watch list, which means when I analyzed them, I didn't find them fundamentally sound enough to put on the watch list. However, having said that, they're currently at $53.29. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $104.57 in the next 12 months. And if they do, that will be a 96.22% gain on that stock in the next 12 months. We see they've been moving sideways a little. Here's a little higher green candle, but... It, I don't think it's broken out of the sideway action just yet. Just a little higher. Utah Medical Products. They are a 
three star. Having earnings report dropping on July 23rd or later that week. Now, they're currently at $68.74 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them, but my, ana my estimate, based on my um, PE breakdown, has them going up to $91.26 in the next 12 months. That will be a 32.76% gain. CSG Systems International dropped dramatically a couple of weeks back. They're currently at $42.03 a share. They have an earnings report coming out on July 31st or later that week. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $66.11 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 57.22% return. Now notice, they dropped dramatically a couple of weeks back, but then they started to come back up this week. They actually moved up, then moved back down because towards the end of the week, but it was still a positive week for them. Conmed Corporation, they are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 24th or later that week. They are currently at $71.16 a share. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $94.86 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 33.30% return on your money. And notice they've been moving sideways two weeks here yeah, for the third week. There's a long tail here, but still caught up in that same sideways action. We want to see if they move higher. Excellus Technologies. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping July 31st or later that week. They're currently at $113.79. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $144 in the next 12 months. If they do that, that will be a 26.54% return. United Health Group, they are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 12th or later that week. They're currently at $512.81. Yahoo analysts estimate they could move up to $566.61. If they do, that would be a 10.49% return. Notice after an earnings support, they jumped up dramatically then. A couple of almost sideways weeks, but slightly down. Now they made another move up this last week. Boeing Company. They're another company that it's not on our watch list, so there's no rating. They have an earnings report dropping July 24th or later that week. They're currently at $178.51. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $223.96. That would be a 25.46% return on your money. Red Robin is another company that's not on our watch list. Wasn't fundamentally sound enough. 
However, they have an earnings day dropping on May 22nd. They're currently at $7.60 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $15.25 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 100.65% return on your money in 12 months. Verisign, another what I would call non-fundamentally sound company. They have an earnings report dropping on July 25th. They're currently at $171.23 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $207.50 in the next 12 months. If they make that move, that will be an increase of $21.18, of 21.18% in the next 12 months. Johnson & Johnson, sort of moving sideways. We see a long tail here. We want to see what they do moving forward. They are a three-star. Currently, everyone is report dropping on July 17th. They are at $149.91 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $172.72 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 15.21% increase. Zoetis Inc. made a decent amount on, in options on this. They are a two-star. Two star. They have an earnings report dropping August 6th or the week of. They're currently at $169.04 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $213.70 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 26.41% return. Market Access Holdings. They are a three-star. They currently have an earnings report dropping on July 18th or later that week. They're currently at $206.11 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $237.67. That will be an increase of 15.31% if they actually move up. And notice they're in a sideways pattern now. Bruge Energy. They are a, um, actually they're no star. Not because they're not fundamentally sound, but because I couldn't find the data on this company to determine if they were fundamentally sound. In any event, they're sort of moving a little sideways, a little down. They're currently at a dollar and two cents a share. Now, it's either Yahoo Analyst put it up there and then they removed it, or Yahoo Analyst didn't put it up there, but I did my own PE analysis and found it from there. But in any event, the probability or the possibility is they can move up to $3.47 in the next 12 months. If they're successful in doing that, that will be a 240.19% return 
in the next 12 months. Enter parfums. They are a two star. They have an urge to put dropping on August 6th. So they're currently at $122.02 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $165.60 in the next 12 months. Information services. They are a no star because the data wasn't able to be found on them. So it's not that the data told me they weren't fundamentally sound. I wasn't able to get the data on them. In any event, they're $3 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $7.97 in the next four months or five months. In the next 12 months, I'm sorry. If they're able to do that, that will be 165.66% return. Heritage Global. This is another very small stock. They have an earned support dropping on August 8th or later that week. The difference with this stock is I was able to find all the data, so I ranked them as a two-star. I would say it's minor things that had me move off of three-star. So they're, for a small company, they're very fundamentally sound. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $5 in the next 12 months. If that's actual, that will be a 118.34% return on your money. Progeny Inc. They are a one star. Currently have a earnings report dropping on August 1st. Notice they moved down, but move sort of back up this week. We see, see what they do going into the next week. In any event, like I said, they're currently at $27.53 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $47.13. If that's actual, that will be a 71.19% return. And that's it for our watch list this week. Guys, we have a lot more stocks coming down the pike because now Rather than me having to manually go through and search for all these opportunities, the app is picking them up. So look forward to more coming up in the upcoming weeks. And in no longer than I assume a month at this point, you guys should be available to buy the app for yourselves. There'll be a website where you could buy it. But in any event, I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great day.